Hey guys, welcome back to Boys and Ghouls Film Review. I'm your host, Sarah Stevenson, and this is my co-host, Mike Stevenson. Hi, everybody. Yeah, and tonight we'll be reviewing um, a bit of a double feature for you guys. That's a, a, re- a reason why it's a double feature, it's the same guys made it in their it's like fan-based Indiana Jones film. We're on that sort of bent at the moment. Yeah, we're trying to squeeze as much um, fan films as much as possible. Yeah, and then we'll move on to something new. Yes. So this one here is called Indiana Jones and the Crown of Thorns, which is released in year 2018. And the other one is called Indiana Jones and the Return of Elsa Schneider. Schneider. That was released in year 2019. Exactly. Yes. So those two we'll be reviewing tonight. <laughs> but they are connected by producers, directors, writers sort of things. Mm-hmm. That's why we've put them together. Mm-hmm. Quite. Yeah. So mm-hmm. now, can I go into the actors and stuff now because get that over and done with? But, but I'll, I'll do this. I'll do the first production first or uh, or do you want me to do both together for the list of cast and crew? Um, I separate think, them? I think, yeah, let's separate them. Okay. Although well, most of the cast are... Well, not most of some of the cast. Some of the cast yeah. in this are this, the same ones you may have seen in the original um, film franchise. You, so, well, from the uh, original, the characters anyway. They've used the same names. They've used I mean. the same characters, <laughs> to, the same yeah. actors to well, portray them Indiana too. Jones, always Indiana Jones. Also, Snyder's going to be also Snyder. And Sala's going to be Sala. And Marcus Brody's going to be Marcus Brody. <laughs> it really makes it easy. Yes. Now, what I'm going to say is, now, I'll, I'll describe the, I'll, I'll give you a list of the um, the first movie, which is the uh, <laughs> the Crown of Thorns one. Uh, now, right. it's Indiana Jones and the Crown of Thorns, 2018, as Sarah said. Uh, it's Spanish. I will not try attempt to read the Spanish name of it. Um, it's something like Indiana Jones y la Corona de Espinas, I think. And it runs, runs about 54 minutes. Now, this was written by uh, Jonathan Jimenez. I think it's the right pronunciation of it, and Lewis Ortega. Hmm. Now, it was produced by Lewis Ortega, directed by Jonathan Jimenez. Uh, director, uh, director of photography was Jonathan Jimenez, mm-hmm. and post edit was Jonathan Jimenez. Hmm. Okay. Now, Very busy man. I, he was busy. I wonder if he did lunch as well. Anyway, <laughs> cast we have here. Lewis Ortega played Indiana Jones. Now... I'm not going to say too much about it because Sarah's going to talk about it. Mm. I thought he did a good job. Same. Now, I have seen guys who have copied Harrison Ford more, but he hasn't copied Harrison Ford. He's done his own version, which is quite good. Yeah, okay. exactly now, so. Okay. So, anyway, we've got, that. Um, we've got a lady called uh, Aida Masip, I think is the right pronunciation. She plays An- Anais Walton, which is the... The uh, leading lady in the production, and she's rather an attractive Missy. Yes, very pretty. Um, okay, here we go. Here we have Oriol Torres. He plays Renee Belloc. He certainly gets around, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, just so you guys know, the Crown of Thorns one is sort of a prequel to um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's pre- prequel to the uh, Indiana Jones franchise, which is quite interesting. Hmm. Uh, now, Louis Ortega Melek. It plays Marcus Brody. Mm-hmm. Now, he's got a very similar name uh, to the Indiana Jones guy. You said they were father and son, didn't you? Or yes, I did. I yeah. found out from yeah. from Lewis that, um, Ortega that that his father portrayed Marcus Brody. Well, yeah, yeah. Yes. and here we go there. Uh, this guy doesn't have a big part, but he has a part. <laughs> Actually, he is a big part. He plays Sala. Uh-huh. That's a, he's a big man. Um, so rude. Eduardo Castro uh, plays mm. Sala. So now I've got all the Spanish names over and done with for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Uh, but as like Sarah said, this starts off in period time about 1934, which is before the Rays Lost Ark. Yes. Now, Sarah, do you want to take it away and tell the story they're off? Yes, might as well. Uh-huh. So I'll keep it um, brief because we have two um, movies to review here. Yeah. So in this one, Indy is on the quest for the Crown of Thorns, which you may have seen in Jesus Wear. You know, when he was being crucified. Yeah, that crown of thorns. Mm-hmm. None other than the original crown of thorns. Yeah, and they're making out that that the crown of thorns could resurrect someone or some people. Well, it had mystical powers, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. 
Yes. So Indy has this map to lead him to the actual place. And of course, it's Balak is on his trail for every step of the way. As always. As always, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite. I so, knew that. <laughs> and he's um, with a ni- his nice lady companion. Wow. That's very much a very beautiful lady, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, they I'm go... I'm not a dirty old man. Okay? Yes. <laughs> so they go to a lot of... I love the ancient ruins in this, I might like to add. It, it kind of makes me feel like I'm really in... Um, all over the world. Well, yeah, yeah, but they, they, they film them, in, I gather, in Spain, around where they live. Hmm. Uh, but there must be an old, a lot of old ruins in that area, which is great because, yeah, when you get an old ruins, big sandstone blocks and stuff, it could be any time. So, yeah, any time, yeah, any yeah, place. Old buildings like that. So, yeah, you can actually yeah. take you back a hundred, yeah. couple hundred years or a couple yeah. thousand years. So, yeah, it's quite good. Exactly. Hmm. So, carry on. So, <laughs> anyway, India and, and the lady, um, they, they come to a. Um, the secret location where the crown forms is, and there's a, uh, a one of those secret organizations who are using it to summon um, God's pa- resurrection powers to resurrect people. Yeah, they're not, not, not necessarily a bad cult, but they're a weird cult. Yeah, yeah mm. weird. <laughs> well, there was one guy who I think he's wearing contact lenses, I think, um, that make his pupils look. Very, very, well, very zombie small. I mean, oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was very yeah. creepy. Yeah, he's a strange looking man. Oh, yes. Yeah, he was a he was a head priest, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, I didn't write his name down, but yeah, mm-hmm. he's okay. We killed him. Did yes. We, we killed him? No, mm, they they didn't kill him. No, no. they didn't kill him. Yeah. So anyway, Indy eventually gets the um, crown of thorns, and they're about to escape when Balak, when the lady ends up taking it from Indy and because her sister is kidnapped by the Nazis. Who Velux working with. Yes. Mm-hmm. She must hand it over the um, crown of thorns or her sister gets killed. Now, as we can always trust the Nazis in, this, in these instances, <laughs> she hands over the crown of thorns, then the Nazi just shoots in the forehead. Yes. Very mm. nice indeed. Yeah, eventually no Indy catches ends. up to them and kills them off. One by one, except for Bella, whom is death is a little unknown yeah, we to thought, us. Yeah, we thought he must have killed Bella, but obviously he can't kill Bella, can he? Because he's going to be in the next Rule movie. What would George Lucas have done? Know. Steven Spielberg. Again, but, this is yeah, this so is a um, he shoots the gun, but we 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 don't see who who what he shoots. Uh, on a, Renee Bella wet his pants and ran away. How's that? No. Maybe <laughs> he got knocked out and that. And By the bullet? <laughs> I don't know. He, I don't know. I mean, maybe he even Indy may have jumped down him and pushed the gun. And, and maybe the gun went off when they were fighting or something or other. Yeah, and knocked him it out. happens. Who knows? So Indiana Jones isn't a killer. No. Unless he really, really, really has to. Yes. Yeah, so anyway, yeah. Indy picks up the crown and he takes it back. And you have to position her body in the probably the same facing spot. Facing north? Facing it? north. Toward, yeah, just like probably the position where Jesus passed, oh, died. No, that's something on the map. Yeah. About north? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, and put the crown on her head. Mm. The crown thorns, and say and a special magic word. It's a, or a prayer. Well, oh. Not that it's a magic word. I think more of a prayer and asking for uh, either God or Jesus to bring life back into her. And mm. he resurrected that. And the bullet hole dis- magically disappeared yeah. um, uh, off a of forehead, which is great. Yeah. Um, really soon, good, handy. Yeah, soon enough, get rid of my headaches yeah. that way. Soon enough, Indy returns with it, and mm. he thinks that this power could be um, the uh, could be either used for both good and evil, and they should keep it hidden. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so. <coughs> Excuse me. So <coughs> Indy and Marcus decide to hide it away. We are where we'll never know. <laughs> oh, if Marcus is anywhere, he'll lose it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think lot. two yeah, years well. later, we see Indy at his home or chateau or whatever, um, mooning over the fact he's got a new map where he's going to go and search for the lost idol. Hint, hint. The one in the very first movie yeah. that Ray he, lost after yeah. when he went to, I can't remember... Uh, he even mentions, Peru, was it? Yeah, yeah, he even yeah. mentions um, one of our characters from that very movie in this very scene. Some of his sep- two, p- two, I can't remember. I can't remember. Sapiro, he, he, mentioned I think. The, he, he mentioned the native tribe and everything else. And yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But this is pre Boulder trying to run him over. Yeah. yeah. Soon enough, um, old 
you know, love interest arrives knocking at the door and they probably getting down to it. <laughs> yeah, getting down to the nitty gritty. But he did save her life and she mm. has she she really, really, really wants to thank him the best way she yeah, can. Yeah, she owes him a bone <laughs> or whatever. What? Or a bone or whatever what? they call it. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> You're being rude, are you? Yeah. Oh, disgusting. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, it is the Indiana Jones, James Bond. Not yeah. much difference. You know, anyway, yeah. wait, there's a post-credit bit at the end where you see um, Balak um, mooning over a, not mooning. I mean, looking over a uh, illustration of the idol and thinking, well, 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 this is going to be my next treasure to protrude from Indy. Yeah, yeah, and they end, end up obviously the end. meeting up in the. Steven Spielberg and George Lucas movie. Yes. <laughs> As for the next movie after this one that came out in oh, hey, 2019, that one is um, directly after The Last Crusade. said yeah. how many years and we don't probably know. before The Crystal Skull. Yes. <laughs> so that one's about um, Indy going up and find meeting up with Elsa Schroeder, Schroeder. Schneider and finding the lost... Um, Holy Grail uh-huh. again. <laughs> hey, now I'm going to do the cast and crew. You started to roll, roll in this too quickly. You know? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure. You get, get so excited. I'm just trying to get everything out there. Okay. The, the second movie, it's a bit short. Actually, the fat first movie runs for about 54 minutes. The second movie only runs for, well, it's not a movie, it's a featurette. It goes for about <laughs> 16 minutes. However, it doesn't lessen the fact that it's a good watch. Okay? Mm-hmm. Now, I'll give you a list of all the goodies, mm-hmm. but um, the name of it is Indiana Jones and the Return of Elsa Schneider. Schneider. Spanish is called Indiana Jones El Retorno de Elsa Schneider. Somewhere. Like well, you get the picture, guys. I just, and my Spanish ain't what it used to be. Yeah. Now. This is why we like to we want to do these together because this is written by Lewis Ortega. Mm-hmm. It was directed by Lewis Ortega. It was produced by, geez, mm-hmm. funny this, Lewis Ortega. <laughs> now, director of photography was not Lewis Ortega. It was uh, Benjamin <laughs> Dalmau, I think is the right pronunciation. Post editing, you guessed it, Lewis Ortega. Now, uh, before I go too far into it. I don't know whether uh, Luis or um, Jonathan or Jonathan uh, actually had any formal training mm. in filmmaking, camera work, audio. However, uh, these they, both of these are quite polished. What do you think? I agree. They're quite good. And the special effects they're using mm. and they're making up, some's probably done manually, some's been done through After Effects on the computer, whatever. Mm. They're really good. Mm, uh, these guys are really talented. I'd really like to see these guys get a good budget and make a real movie, and it'd be something to look, something to be, um, um, yeah, uh, yes. drooled over. So, who are the cast apart from the guy who plays well, Indy? Surprise this. Louis Ortega plays Indiana Jones. Surprise, surprise. Uh, mm. Now, <laughs> a European name, Svetlana Novikova plays Elsa Schneider. She's another attractive bit. Uh, wow. like, not bit. Oh, sorry, that's it. Uh, that's that's, that's uh, discriminatory. Uh, she's not nice <laughs> lady, she, but she's trying to get someone who looked like the original lady who played Elsa Schneider, who was something duty. I can't remember her name. Um, uh, whatever. She was a blonde Irish girl playing the role, but I can't remember her name. Right. Something something duty. Go, on. Anyway, Eduardo Castro plays Sala mm-hmm. again, and mm-hmm. now Manel Gonzalez plays Henry Jones Senior. There's a funny bit at the end of this, uh, that Sarah <laughs> will enlighten you about uh, a bit later on, but um, <laughs> it's quite funny. Uh, however... So this one is about under 18 minutes long. Oh, I just said that. Yes. Uh, it's a little one. It's a short film. Um, short it's a feature film, you say, I think yeah. would be the a best feature, word for it. lovely. I think it'll be a short film un- that would be... It's a one. It's a Reader's yeah. Digest movie. There you go, folks. Uh-huh. So anyway, as I was saying before, um, this... In, this Fan f- film takes place after Indiana Jones and Last Crusades. Exactly. So, so it's kind of um, left us wondering what became of her after she fell in the abyss below. However, mm. she didn't die. No. Ah, 
It was it wasn't really explained very well though. No, but no. she did she survived somehow yeah. rather. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we start off where with a well, Indy and Sala are kidnapped by Nazis. Surprise, surprise. Surprise. And yeah. guess who's um come calling? None other than Elsa, who's supposedly uh, dead. Yes. Eventually, they try to fight their way out, and Elsa gives uh, helps Indy escape. Yeah, she's trying to make it. She's a nice lady. Yes, she yeah. then invites him ah. over to her chateau or home or whatever. Where she's living. Okay. Yes, and yeah. she wants to strike up a friendship again, if she, you can well, call it that. He was suspicious. Yes. But in true uh, Indiana Jones uh, style, mm-hmm. he succumbed to a feminine wiles. <laughs> And they did it several times that night. No. <laughs> yes, and of course, while they're sleeping, she... Takes the bullets out of his gun. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> she even mentions earlier that she knows where the Holy Grail is. Like, she hid it after she yeah. fell. Well, yeah, she had it. If she fell with it, and she, she hid it in a crev- crevice down in the cave somehow or other. Yeah. Mm. Yes. What a load of hokum they would do. Yes, <laughs> true, true. I don't trust her. Why yes. would it... Yeah, his father didn't trust her. Yeah, of course not. She Henry talk- Jones Senior. Yeah, she talks in she her talks sleep. She talks in sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, well, I never could oh, stand it. But then I realised, oh, I get it. Dad had a bit oh. of uh, had a turn. He was the first one. <laughs> oh, hey, that's freaky. <laughs> they boldly go where Dad's been before. No, 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 no. Anyway, yeah. moving on. So Indy um, and Elsa, they head to the, um, you know, where the crescent moon uh, is. Alexandretta, I believe it is yes. called. Yes, and they meet up with the old knight, or maybe not the old knight. Well, actually, I think it wasn't the old knight. I think it was a guy dressed up as the old knight. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and he's about yeah. to um, kill some tr- intruders and stuff. And fortunately, Indy does find the, um, the um, grail and... He did, no, Indiana got stabbed. Yeah. He's going to die. and he, he well, Actually, he wasn't going to get stabbed. He got shot he in the shot, back. That's right, he got shot in the back. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, by yeah. Elsa, no less. Yeah, that's right. And while um, he's lying there, he, um, some water from the ceiling or whatever yeah. drips, 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 and Indy was able to catch it in the, the, goblet. the goblet and drinks it. And, and it made him Though well. and behold, he's all better. Yeah. And, of course, Indy... And fights off the night, and he, while the place is crumbling down to dust, Indy and Elsa head out. And of course, Indy says he destroys the Holy Grail because this is um, it's not worth it. Well, he didn't really. That's all point. Yes. So, he, he so threw eventually, the wall and he and Elsa he they head out yeah. of the um, the um, the um, well, built cave, plate, cave. Whatever, yeah. and. Indy says he doesn't want anything more to do with Elsa. And he walks away. And well, walks I wouldn't trust him myself either. And yeah, he, yeah. in his bag or satchel or whatever, is um, the sleep. Holy Grail, you know, and all that it's stuff. Yeah, there were the base sticking out. It's, he thinks he would have noticed that yes. we did. Then we cut to <laughs> Indy sh- <coughs> showing his dad the remains of, well, not the um, remains, the, um, the complete Holy Grail in a nice he, he made him a presentation box to give to yeah. their old dad. Yeah. yeah, and of course his dad says it's not the real he deal. He it's a fake. <laughs> yeah. Well, how did it work if it was a fake dad? Dad's yeah. not a very good archaeologist yet. No, or he was probably just joking. I don't know. I could be wrong. <laughs> so anyway, Indy um, um, is a bit um, happy that he, that he's fi- he found it. And his dad says um, he's on a date with someone we know. <laughs> He, makes, he, 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 he met some girl at a show, didn't he? He said something yes. like that. <laughs> an artist, he calls her. Yeah, an artist. <laughs> and guess what her name is? <laughs> Willie. He said, what? <laughs> and that was it. The <laughs> cut, cut the phone to black. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, it's not to make your head spin. Well, all, all's fair in, in family. Share around, you know. Oh, boy. Can't right. his father very fall for someone older than him? <laughs> oh, who wants to go to the local bowls club and fl- pick up a blue rinse when you can get a nice young blonde or brunette? Ah, oh, good enough mm-hmm. point. Anyway, as we were saying, um, the next um, 
um, Indiana Jones film that these two young gentlemen are creating is called Indiana Jones and the Black Order. I can't tell you guys too much about you know what it's about. about. The theme behind it or anything? Or? Uh, other than it's going to be a little bit more, um, be more of a superhero related film. Or I can't the really Indiana s- Jones superhero one. Yeah, sort of. Okay. And I guess um um yeah, um his. What's his um? What's our lead actor who's playing Dan Jones again? Uh, Luis Santanga. L- Luis Santanga's father is going to return for this as Marcus Brody in this one, so that's always good. Well, there you go. There, mm-hmm. hey. Yes. So that's and good old dad. Mm-hmm. And at the moment, they're um in the middle of post editing the final Indiana Jones. This is going to be the final one in their series. Have they got anything else planned for the future at this point in time? Well, or Luis he hasn't said anything. Luis just told me that he's 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 not sure about doing any more Indiana Joneses because he wants to concentrate more on his family and fa- and all that oh, stuff. Oh, they're lovely. And it does take a little a little bit more time to organize an Indiana Jones film. Hey, do a kiddies version. Oh. Okay. No, sorry. Anyway, they're gonna be. Re- he says he's gonna be releasing his film to, um, or not sm- releasing. He's gonna submit his film um, into film festivals oh, in Christmas great. time. So by the time it's it's all done by Christmas, he it's all downhill. That he might release it on YouTube, maybe. Yeah. That's another thing I should mention. It's on YouTube, but you know. Oh yeah. So yeah, yeah. You you can what both of these are available uh, on YouTube. Yes. yes. We saw them on YouTube, folks. Mm-hmm. Yes, so you can check them out there if you want to watch them. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're in Spanish, but they are English subtitled, okay? Mm-hmm. So there you go. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, no, and considering it's a subtitle, I, I hate reading because I've got bad eyes. However, mm-hmm. subtitles are quite easy to read, and mm-hmm. they were calibrated properly, so they actually uh, fit the scenes properly. So, yeah, mm-hmm. good, yeah they, they've... Uh, uh, attention to detail is quite good. So, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm very happy with that. But I really, I love these fan-based movies. I think I've said it before. These guys have got enthusiasm and energy that some of the other guys who are doing it for a living uh, really don't have. I mean, oh, it's another yeah. job. And I'm, I not thought knocking, I'm not knocking them, but I did it gets boring these, after a while. I do think the yeah. locations, the costuming, and the special effects are oh, special really effects are excellent, are excellent mm. and cool. I, I really mean, like really, it. Really, I mean, they were well good. Mm. Just when the guy gets his head cut off, that was excellent. Mm, yeah. Like, Whoop. Yeah. What? Didn't see that coming. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, gross. Not uh, really effective. Yeah, is no, what it I'm great. saying. Yeah, it looked real. Uh, and the guy got shot, shot in the face, and the black back of his head blew up, like, blew out against the wall. Oh, yeah, that's that, that cool. was good. Yeah, <laughs> the, just a little thing. All these nice little subtle things that make a nice, wholesome. No, well, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, all those good things. And when he's walking through those caves, uh, going to um, look at the uh, the um, the Holy Grail, hmm. um, it had a good feel to it. You know, they're probably real caves and walkways there under some building or and tombs and or, stuff. And, yeah, or catacombs or something. It was really good, and it felt like you're really in an A grade movie. Yeah, and I thought that there was a scene where they're in. Jal- Jerusalem, and it looks like an interesting matte painting or green. I don't know. No, I I, I think it was a big, a decent photograph on green screen, maybe, because mm. there's too much detail. Mm. Yeah, because he had a dome of the rock in the background, and all the buildings and everything. It looked too good, so it had to be a big photograph in a green screen. Mm. But look great. You would have sworn they were in Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. They weren't. They were in Spain. Spain, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I got me. It was really clever how they did this. Yeah. No, it's great. They're very um, inventive, creative, whatever you want to say. Uh, these guys really put a lot of thought into the, the two projects. Mm. I hope the third one is as good. Mm, we might have reviewed that. My fingers are crossed yeah. for that one. Oh, no. It's um, really enjoyed it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, getting back to Luis, um, good-looking guy, uh, not a Harrison Ford. Uh, co- he's not a copy. Uh, he's not a copy of Harrison Ford, but he does his own delivery, mm-hmm. which is quite good. Mm-hmm. Um, he looks apart and he acts apart, but he's mm-hmm. not doing Harrison. Yeah. Ford. Another yeah, another thing I should mention: yeah. Luis told me that he loves the first fan film and he loves the um, fan film about the return of Elsa, you know, coming back and all that stuff. Well, he does. Well, yeah. obviously well I can understand why he likes it, and I do agree with him yeah. there. I'm a foal, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if I if I was play, playing along those, alongside those leading ladies, I'd like it too. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and just so you guys know, when they're going to be doing the Black Order, Indiana Jones, they're going to they're going to re- 
the remaining characters that will already appear in that one is Sala, Shorty, Elsa. Oh, short round. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, well we did see him in in oh, the, yeah, a brief the um, Crown of Thorns yeah. one. Here's a hat, you know. See you yeah. later, you know. And <laughs> Elsa's sister that was mentioned in in the um Elsa ret- return. Yeah, the picture of El- uh, Elsa and her sister. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. she mentions him, her. And uh, yeah. Sala's brother in law, whom we may have mentioned in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, whom we never his seen. His brother in law, that's right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where he stole, he, he borrowed, borrowed his car. car. <laughs> yeah, and destroyed the car, better get some mm-hmm. camels or something, a horse or something to sell them and, and, and of, make restitution, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and of course, Marcus Bray will reappear in this one too. And so. some Nazis? Yeah. Oh, I hope so. They are so fun to play with. Nazis, I hate those guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well. Uh. Yeah, I gotta admit, I did like the um, fact they used a lot of the Indiana Jones quotes in this. Yeah, the the, the odd line did sneak in, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll go into it, but yeah, the, yeah, we've heard that before. We've heard that before. Hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Borrowed loosely, but yeah, they, they they didn't follow any script. They made their own storylines up. Uh, very impressive. Worked well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and filming was great. I mean, they they did some really, really, really low lighting stuff. Mm-hmm. And they're going through the cave stuff, looking for the uh, Holy Grail and that sort of thing, and following the maps. And it was really, really, really low lighting. They must have had some really good equipment, and they photographed it properly. It didn't pixelate, it didn't go mm. grainy, didn't do anything. They did a damn good job. I did think it, the locations mm, were pretty cool too, mm, because I, when I look at it. Yeah, and the sound quality was good too. Mm. Some of these, some of the. Um, Fan films are done on a really tight budget, and yeah, you've got they, they concentrate on trying to catch a good picture, but they often forget about the sound quality. They got oh, we'll use the uh, microphone on the camera or something or other. Not good enough, guys. You need to have a guy with a boom with a dead cat on the end of it, or whatever you want to call it. Plug it into a mixer, mm. catch the sound, patch it in, doctor it, and make it sound nice. But mm. they seem to forget that. I mean, it doesn't cost much more. Mm. Um. Yeah, it's it, it it does let the project down if you don't take care of the small things. How's True. That? Yeah. So anyway, mm. um, do you want to rate them now? Oh Mike? well, a rating it. Mm. I'll rate them together. Okay. Because they are very similar in quality and acting and, and filming and everything. So look, again, as a fan-based film, mm. working off. I would presume a very, very limited budget, like all the other guys. Mm-hmm. Um, this has to be one of the best ones up the top there. Um, I can't think of any major problems with it, so I'm going to give it a both. Well, the the the, the joint effort that the two movies are combined nine and a half. Mm. I'm going to give it a nine and a half too. So that makes it unanimous. Yeah. Anonymous, unanimous, anonymous. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. thanks for um. So Louise, you, where, Louis, you, yeah. Louis, um, wherever you are, yeah. um, I do hope that you continue your your cre- your filmmaking uh, out oh, there. Me, in yeah, Spain. Look, have a break. Me, oh, I'm a grandpa. I'm a I'm I'm a granddad, and I love my little grandkids. So and I know, and I've I had two daughters years and years ago. One said next to me now. She's no 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 longer little. She's thirty something or other. Um, but when you've got kids hanging around, it's really good to spend time for kids. So take the time, you know, recharge your battery, spend time for kids, but don't give up the filmmaking. You Man, you've got a talent, okay? Yeah. Yeah, have, have another go. You know, maybe uh, yeah. if that's what you if really want to do, Jones, do it. If not Indiana Jones, go ahead else. and yeah. try something new. Ghostbusters. No, sorry. No, no we can't always um, um, expect everyone to do Star Wars. No, 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 no. No, little franchises, no. Uh, and do, no, do your own thing, but... You know, you, yeah, do something good or copy something or whatever. Try, try to try, try to make a career if you can out of it um, mm. because you got you got talent. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I think so anyway. Agreed. Uh, mm. yeah, yeah, we don't. Well. Want, um, I know that we're in lockdown at the moment, but um, I don't want every. I don't want promising young fem- people out there who are in lockdown to lose. Lose hope. Lose hope in filmmaking. But yeah, this is where you sit down and you do brainstorm and you write potential scripts, uh, mm-hmm. get a production team together loosely of how actually coming together for a big meeting. And we're going to be doing something in a couple of months' time. Will you come on board? Are you interested? Yeah, and start you mm-hmm. know, getting the preliminaries taken care of. So mm-hmm. when things ease off, you've got 
the pre preliminaries reasonably taken care of, mm -hmm. and you can almost roll straight into your first meeting and could possibly do a read through of a script before your people, you know, mm. that sort of stuff. Yeah, just w don't waste the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. use every ounce of your filmmaking abilities. Like, like if you are you're good at script writing, then use this time to develop your a new script idea. Exactly. You must, uh, there must be ideas percolating away in someone's brain out there. Not just mm. you, Louis, and, uh, and other people that you know, but other people who listen to this podcast. Yeah. If you got the time and you got the inclination, do it. Yeah, and you could do two or three or four or five different script ideas over the next couple of months, and then you, you pick the best one, then start to fine tune it. But and then every the lockdowns and everything start to ease up and people get back to normal again, uh, and everything's good. Uh, make a movie, mm. do something. Yeah, because we need the entertainment, we need the art, we need the commitment to the uh, that genre. Mm. Mm. True. So um, I think that's about it for all of us. So thanks for listening to our latest podcast, guys. This is Sarah Stevenson. And what? Me, Michael. Saying see you guys around. See you later, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.